Well, welcome back to the Dependent Fanatic channel. And uh, normally I would be watching uh, Michigan football on the voice of college football, Mark Rogers conglomerate that he has going on there. I'd be watching John DiAdamo, but that happened last night. So go watch that. Uh, that was fun. Uh, you can see me in the comments too if you want to. But we're talking. And that actually gave me time tonight to do this video. So here we go. 2024 hardest power four schedules in the nation now. Uh, yes, we're down to four. The Pac-12 dissolved if you're under a rock. And uh, we have four conferences that uh, are not group of five. I think we still have group five group of five conferences. So there's really nine conferences now and then some independents. Uh, in this Division One of college football. But I think we're trending to two conferences like the NFL model and everything's about to change. But for now, really two conferences do own the strength of schedule. Uh, the hardest power for schedules. And I'll let you guess who those are. I'm sure you already know. We're talking number 15 through number one, so let's go. Florida State has the second hardest schedule in the ACC, a 61.5 opponent win percentage from last season. Uh, they have notable opponents, and all these opponents will be 10 wins or more from last season. I know they get better and they get worse, of course, but Memphis uh, is at home. SMU is on the road, and Notre Dame is on the road for Florida State this upcoming season. That is the 15th hardest schedule. Uh, not only because of those three teams, but you have to look at the other opponents and how they went, and it totals up that a lot of them are bowl teams, you know. So that factors in. Bowl teams that could get better or worse. Uh, Iowa is number 14. 61.8% was their opponents last season. They have Troy at home, at Ohio State, and Washington at home. And Michigan, yours truly, go blue, doesn't have the daunting schedule everyone thinks it, <laughs> it does. It is number 13 hardest on this uh, ranking of mine, uh, but that's really not that difficult. It's less difficult than, say, Alabama's or Florida's. We'll, we'll keep moving up here, but 62.4% uh, our opponents went last season. We have Texas at home. We have at Washington. Now, at Washington and us are in kind of a similar position where we lose everybody. Um, but I think our culture will stay. I think that's a, that's a win for Michigan. But then we get Oregon at home who everyone has, number one or two in the Big Ten, above Michigan, and then at Ohio State. So it's perception here, but really the schedule, if you break it down from last season, Michigan's schedule is only the 13th hardest in the nation. Alabama has a tougher one, 62.5%. Georgia at home, Missouri at home, at LSU, and then Oklahoma. And then number 11 is South Carolina, another SEC team. 62.6%. LSU, Mississippi are both at home. And then they go at Alabama, at Oklahoma, and then they have Missouri at home. So the first with five 10 win opponents from last season. Uh, it's brutal. It's getting, it's getting harder than what Michigan has to deal with. So Texas, uh, US, UCLA is number 10. Um, 62.6% tied with South Carolina, but they have more road games of these 10 win teams coming. Um, that was at LSU, Oregon at home, at Penn State, Iowa, and at Washington. A new Big Ten team, so another Big Ten program going into 2024. Now, Mississippi State is number nine, 62.7%, five 10 win opponents. Uh, from last season, Toledo, who might not be, you know, uh, at Texas, at Georgia, Missouri, and at Ole Miss. 
Number eight is Vanderbilt, another SEC, 62.9% at Missouri, uh, at or Alabama at home, Texas at home, and at LSU. Uh, Washington, and, oh, excuse me, Oregon from the Big Ten is next. 63.4% were their opponents from last season. Uh, Ohio State at Michigan and Washington. Number six is Washington with a 63.4 win percentage uh, from their opponents. Michigan at home, at Iowa, at Penn State, at Oregon. Ouch. Uh, that's the sixth hardest schedule in the FBS. Number five is Northwestern. Um, 65.7%, so a couple percentage point jump here for Northwestern from number six to number five. Miami of Ohio at home, at Washington, at Iowa, Ohio State at home, at Michigan. And then number four is uh, Oklahoma, another SEC team. 65.7% were their opponents tied with Northwestern, but they have six 10-win opponents from last season. Tulane at home, Texas at home. At Ole Miss, at Missouri, Alabama at home, and at LSU. How are they not number one? Because USC is number three uh, with 66.6% Devils numbers. Uh, LSU in a neutral site is what they have. At Michigan, Penn State at home, at Washington, and then Notre Dame at home, of course, always. So they are number three. Uh, with a, a big percentage. Now we're jumping to 67.1%, and that is the second ACC team. That's right. There are no big 12 teams in this top 15 hardest schedules. 67.1% was Georgia Tech, number two in the nation. They have a neutral site game versus Florida State. They're at Louisville, Notre Dame at home, and at Georgia. And the number one hardest schedule in the nation this upcoming season belongs to Florida. You know, before, before the season. We'll know more once the season starts, of course. Uh, Florida has a 69% opponent win percentage. They play five notable 10-plus win team. They have Georgia in a neutral site and a cocktail party. At Texas, LSU at home, Miss at home. At Florida State, all five of those games are their last five of the season. And, of course, they have, like I said, for all these teams, there's more than just what I listed. There's bowl teams everywhere for these teams. So that's a brutal, brutal schedule. You see why the Big Ten and SEC deserve more teams in to this new 12-team playoff, and if it expands, because... They have the strength of schedule. 13 of these top 15 teams are Big Ten or SEC. Seven for the Big Ten. Six for the SEC. Two for the ACC. Next up on this channel, let that sink in. Comment what you think there. But also, uh, next up is the easiest schedules. Unless, comment down below. It could be another deep dive into a national title contender. I've had five of them. I'm asking you to comment down below. A team that I have not done. Whoever gets the most likes, I will do first. And I will try, you know, if I think it is a national title contender, I'll keep going down the line. Or is it just Michigan left? You can vote for Michigan too. So comment down below who you want to hear about. Next. Also, I have an eye on Michigan softball, who has a chance to win Big Ten titles, plural, regular season and uh, tournament style. So, in the Big Ten. So, there you go. Northwestern's in our way there. <laughs> um, that's it. Who has the hardest schedule? What do you think? Let me know. Like the video. Share, subscribe. Share with other people, really. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
And remember to go blue always. <laughs> Let's go. And have a great day. Remember to have a smile. And just look at other someone else and give them a smile. And uh, let's make this world a better place. Let's go.